Hey guys, uh, this is Ludwig with another Corona quick tip tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to take a look at a new render selected feature that has been introduced in Corona 1.3. Uh, you may know this feature from Mentoray as a render subset or recently added in V-Ray as render mask. So basically what this feature does is when you enable it right here, render selected and let's set it to viewport selection and if we select any object in the viewport it will basically render just a cutout mask of the object so it's sort of advanced render region uh, that will render always exactly what you need without any any wasted area uh, so to show you how it works i'm going to change some colors on the camouflage of the apc so let's set it to something vibrant so we can see see the effect uh, make sure this is a viewport selection make sure we have something selected in a viewport and just hit render uh, let's give it a few seconds to parse because uh, it's quite a large scene and as you can see only only the, the exact area of of the apc has been rendered so uh, so this is basically this is basically what all you need to do to uh, successfully use this feature and it's useful when you're doing some rapid iterations some color tweaking of the small objects in the scene you just select something you tweak the materials and you work on it like this another mode you can use is include exclude list so I'm gonna take for example this add it to include list and again i'm gonna i'm gonna make some change to the material so we can see its effect so let's just grab this one i'm gonna lower the diffuse to 0.25 and i'm gonna render again And as you can see again, only the area of the of these metal plates has been rendered. All right, and of course uh, the third mode you can use is just object debuffer ID. So let's say I'm gonna make this pole 101, and let's set object ID here to 101 as well. Again, let's change up the material so it it doesn't look the same. For example, <coughs> RGB multiply with some red. <coughs> and obviously render again to see what's going on. And again, as you can see, only the area of the pole is being rendered. So <clears throat> this is it for the basic usage of this feature, but there's one more thing you can use it for, uh, which is uh, quick fixes in post-production. If you have this feature enabled, for example, I'm going to select all the trees and set it to viewport selection and I go to system and enable clear VFB in between renders. What will happen is that when I render, I will get uh, just my selection on a black background with a mask. So this is very useful, especially in anim animations uh, where a client wants to change maybe some, some little thing and you're against deadline and do not have much time to completely render the entire sequence. You can just use uh, render selected in combination with a clear VFB in between renders and what you will get is just a selection on the black background with correct alpha so the alpha will be correctly multiplied against the black background and you can use this as a quick patch instead of re-rendering the entire sequence <clears throat> this only works uh, for the object that has been uh, that is first in the way of camera ray so it doesn't work uh, for objects that are behind 
uh, objects with lower opacity or behind refractive objects or something like that. So I've prepared an, an example. I've rendered just a simple car animation. And uh, let's say the client would say, I want this, uh, I want the glass, uh, the windows of the car a uh, lot uh, more transparent and I want to see the driver inside. So I rendered just using uh, using the uh, view render selected along with a clear VFB. I've selected just a window glass and rendered a separate pass. And obviously I couldn't find any driver uh, in my model library. So I just put smiley face inside. So I rendered this and you can see it's just transparent. And if I put it over my render, you can see I've got nicely, uh, nicely fitting uh, fixed area. There are no visible transitions. And uh, it took just a fraction to render uh, compared to rendering the entire image again. So basically I did, I did just this quick fix. And I can show you even uh, before and after. So this is before and this is after and you can see how seamlessly and nicely it blends together so yeah this is this is it for for the quick tip regarding new uh, render selected feature so see you next time goodbye